Oh! I bet you didn't expect to see me here, now did you? Don't I look fabulous? Oh, I think I do. Apparently, I agree with myself. Which I hope would make sense. So, I'm not sure about the hat. I'm pretty sure you get that after you defeat Rai, I'm pretty sure. Because I don't remember the name of the guy that he's based off of, but I know he's from the anime. He's from Lucario and the Secrets of Mew? Lucario and the- is that the name of the movie? Lucario and the Secrets of Mew? I think so. They're from- it's from that movie. From that- that movie. Future me. Put- put the picture of the movie. It's from that movie. It's from that one. Um, that guy is from that guy. Um, as for the Diamond Clan armor, or I guess, not armor, uh, Diamond Clan clothes, and also the shoes, which are also Diamond Clan, by the way, uh, you get for beating the game. And you get the opposite, which is the Pearl Clan version. Obviously, I prefer the Diamond Clan version because, you know, it blue. And I like blue. I like blue very, very much. I do like me some blue. So I did mention that after we, um, after we did a bunch of missions uh, last episode, that we were going to go ahead and do story this episode. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go talk to Volo, and any Pokemon that we find that we don't have registered in the Pokedex, we catch him. In that regard, I actually want to go ahead and leave one of my precious mons behind. Unfortunately, going to be myself because I'm level 60. And I'm going to actually take a Pichu with me. Because I would like to evolve a Pichu into a Pikachu and the only way you can do that is through friendship so I'm going to be taking this Pichu with me and any trees or rocks I find I'm banging his little uh, his little mouse head against on our way to talk to Volo I would have just gone up to Volo's area that he's located in but honestly, I would prefer to just walk there so that way I can grind up on friendship with Pichu. So that way I can, like, actually get the friendship and get the Pikachu. Unless I find a Pikachu. I know you can find them out here. It's just the likelihood of me finding one in place of where a Pichu normally would spawn is not exactly high. And I currently don't have the ability to... Uh, not guarantee, but have a much easier chance of finding a Pikachu. So, for now, I'm stuck grinding. And I spoke the whole way, almost the whole way up to Volo. Excellent. Dragon, there you are. Hello. Have a look here, if you will. A good, long, close look, please. See these patterns modeled after Pokemon? I've come to think that they might be letters. Rather, rather like hieroglyphs, if you will. I've inspected ruins across the region and have concluded that they all seem to tell the same tale. A tale of a brave soul who, together with Pokemon at his side, went on a journey to search for the fragments of, of an all-encompassing deity. A deity? Yes, an all-encompassing deity, the creator of the very universe, and its name is... Arceus. Perhaps you've already heard this name. It does sound familiar. Of course. What else could I have expected from the hero who saved the Hisui region? 
But now, let us discuss the fragments. They must surely be the plates. Yes, the very plates you collected as you went about quelling all the frenzied nobles. Haven't you noticed that they all have words carved on their backs? Go on, give them a read. You read the text engraved on the back of the first plate that you obtained. The o Oh, Volo is saying it. It doesn't say Volo, though, but I guess he's the one that's saying it. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. This original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. The nah, Volo's shoe is glitching out for a second. So what do you say, Dragon? I think we should try to gather all the plates. The nah, Volo's shoe is glitching out! Ah! And I've got just the idea where to start our search. Join me in the heart of the Grooving Grove. Volo, fix your foot, please! And he's gone. Well, we could go do that. Uh, actually, that what my my wants to talk to us, but honestly, that's something that deserves a whole episode on its own. I'm gonna save that for next episode. Actually, are there any other side quests around here? Nope, it's just Volo. All right, well, I guess we're walking out there. All right, I'm gonna take the long way there so I can grind up friendship. I'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, Volo, you dragged me all the way out here. What have you got for me? All the way in this little corner of wherever it is. Now, Dragon, according to my own investigations... Ah! Oh, Alpha Vespa Queen, terribly sorry, Dragon, but do you think you could handle it? Uh, no! I haven't fucking beat you out right now! What do you mean, can I handle it? Uh, no. Pichu, no. P Pichu. P uh, P uh, P Pichu. P Pichu. P Pichu. Pichu! All right. Not how I wanted that to go. Not how I wanted that to go at all. That was not my intention whatsoever. That was never meant to be my intention. Well, Snoop gets to go twice. Actually. Huh. You know, I need a Vespa Queen. And it is big, and it is burned. Let's go! Oh, hey, we already got a Pokemon marked on our list that we needed. Poor Pichu. You obtained the stone plate! How? I have no idea. Where was this- where was this at? Why did that alpha Pokemon have a plate we were looking for? Maybe it just happened to find the plate lying around. In any case, that's the only other plate I had any information about, so that's that. And yet nothing seems to be happening, which makes me think which makes me suspect that there's still that there must still be more plates left for out there for us to find. Not to worry though, I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know about she's no she's bound to know all about the plates. Miss Kagata? Ka Kagita? Kagita? The one and only Mistress Kagita, yes. You haven't had the chance to properly thank her for her help in, in obtaining the red chain, am I right? All the more reason to pay her a visit. So onward to the ancient retreat. God damn it, he didn't heal Pichu. Really? We walked through here. Volo caused and caused the Alpha Heracross to disappear just for it to reappear when he freaking left. Thanks, Volo, yes. 
Yeah, 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 I caught one Pokemon. Ring me up. Now that you can see the antique set without the red sky, at first it looked like it was supposed to be pink, but now you see that it's actually white with blue flowers on it. It's really pretty. She still has a really pretty garden, full of pretty flowers. I like Kogata's little retreat here. It's really nice. Judging by how I can't raise my camera up any higher, yeah, I'm willing to bet that that fire is actually a 2D sprite. That's what it's looking like. Why, hello, miss. Oh, lost one. It's it's miraculous what you've done. It seems the red trains it seems the red chain served its purpose well. And you carried out your duty, as you were bid. What brings you here? Have you yet need of me? It's about Arceus. Ah yes, a tale whose origin lie a millennium or two ago. Those were the days of the ancient Sin Sinnoh people, from whom I am descended, oh, attended across many generations. These forebearers of mine worshipped Arceus as a Pokemon that created the Hisui region. And I have heard of certain fragments, plates as they are called, that are given to the ancestors of Pokemon such as Cleaver and Weirdeer. Is that all? I thought that surely you could tell us more about Arceus and the plates. I'm afraid I have nothing new to tell you. Why the Diamond and Pearl clans could would never have confused Dialga and Palkia with the creator Arceus, had anything concrete been passed down. If only we had more to go on. The answers to these mysteries may even shed light on why Dragon has fell from the sky. My dragon here is fell from the sky. That's what that's what I said. Ah, uh, I see what you intended. Very well. I'll help as best as I can. There are still other tremendous Pokemon in Hisui. Other mysteries to be solved. Whether they are connected to Arceus, I cannot say for certain. But in search but in searching them out, perhaps you'll stumble upon the path you seek. Let me think. There are Pokemon of the lakes, of course. And the temple giant, crest the crescent moon, the volcano, and perhaps you may you might even return to the very beginning. Now then, what would you hear of? This is the beginning of the world's longest fetch quest. Each and every one of these nets you well well, at least one of them nets you three Pokemon. All of the others net you at least one. And this isn't even the end. This is where all of your legendary Pokemon are coming from. And just as a quick reminder, none of them can be shiny. So if you want to shiny hunt them, don't. They can't, none of them can be shiny. Well, I say all of them net you a legendary Pokemon. Actually, the last one that I'm actually hovering over right now, the beginning, that one doesn't. <laughs> all of the others do, though. But don't, like, but again, don't shiny hunt them. You can't. They're all shiny locked. Um, let's go ahead and start with the quest that I think will take the longest, and that's the three lake Pokemon. Ah, yes, them. You already know. Go give them your go give them your thanks for the red chain and show them how strong you've become. Oh, you can't back out. You have to actually listen to all of them. I thought I could listen to one and then back out and come back. Okay, I guess I have to listen to all of them. All right, never mind. Well, there could be there could be that wait. Oh. Where could that be but where could that be but Fire Spit Island? 
And what you hear of? The Crescent Moon. Ah, yes, the moon. You must go to where you may meet the moon's gaze un 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 unobstructed. Does that clue illuminate your path? Well, make for the Coronet Highlands. For, for now. Oh, what did you hear of? The Temple Giant. A secret that lurks in Snow Point Temple. To find it, you must open the door that is sealed. And lastly, indeed, a beginning for you, certainly. Where, where was, where was it you first fell to earth here? Now we can say never mind. <laughs> Done with your questions, are you? Yes, ma'am. Very well, last one. The rest depends on you and your efforts. It appears that the opening of the space-time rift compelled Pokemon that might otherwise have stayed hidden to come out and see what has befallen the world. I hope you succeed, for your own sake, and for that of the Pokedex you labour on. I knew we could rely on you, Mistress, Mistress Kagita. There's more than enough information to work with. Now, let's find those plates. You can do any of these quests in any order. It's all up to you. Oh. It's just as I had suspected. Pokemon are the key to our search, Dragon. If we can gather all the plates from them, and decipher the messages on the backs of the plates, and at the backs of the plates at last, perhaps we can meet Arceus itself. You should go search for the Pokemon that Kagata mentioned, Dragon. I have my own... I have my own avenues of research that I'd like to pursue. Arceus, creator of all Hisui. I truly can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon it might be. Good luck. Now, there is one thing I want to do first, and that's mostly because... I forgot to do it. Actually, three things I want to do. So I'm gonna... I don't know if I can do these in a hurry, but I'm definitely going to try. So, these are all considered main missions, so don't get them lost in your regular missions. But what I want to do here is... You know what? Let's do this one first. I've had a message from Mistress Kagita. I'm told you're collecting plates of some sort with the Merchant Volo. You're the one that sent me out on that mission, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, that was, um, what's her face? Um, Silene. Silene sent us out, not you. Then we must go to Prelude Beach. Meet me there. In a minute, buddy. We're kind of, uh, kind of, kind of doing something else. Once upon a time in the East Sea, there was a Pokemon known as the Prince. A brave human asked Pokemon living in the sea to let them see the Prince. Mantike, Buizel, and a quillfish with huge spikes acknowledged the human's bravery and joined them. Together they set off in a boat over the sunset streaked sea, sailing through the ocean's gate stretched over the waves. News of this reached the ears of the prince, who went to meet the brave little party at the seaside hollow. This is the sea's legend. That festival, that festival attended by everyone and the clans and the galaxy team alike. Oh, it was wonderful. Being able to spend time with Iskan in front of everyone was like a dream come true. 
Dragon? Lena, uh, I I'm sorry. Uh, Paulina here has something she wants to discuss with you. That's right. You should also hear this, Arita. It seems something is once again very much amiss on Firespit Island. Uh, oh? A fire spit island? Oh dear, you seem reluctant to get involved. It's just very hot there. My, you speak with such... Disparaging? Dispar... Dispar... Disparaging terms. Huh. Of the seat that my lord Arcanine calls home. And to think you call yourselves our leader, Arita. Uh, no, Lena, I, I didn't. <laughs> oh, stop with the silly old nickname in front of others, won't you? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean anything by it. It's just an, uh, an old habit. Well, anyway, you heard her. Please get to Firespit Island so we can resolve this. Truly, please hurry. I might melt out there. I'm, I'm gonna nod my head and say yes, but I'm not actually going out there. So, uh, ooh, yeah, it um, it might be, uh, it might be a hot second. So, we are out here for a very, very special reason. There is an old myth that you may have heard from an unusual voice speaking in the ether that totally was not me, I, I don't know what you're talking about, that spoke of something called the Sea's Legend. This is a side, this is a quest that we actually have, where we need, I need you, I, I need you. Perfect. So, if you've ever played the original uh, Diamond and Pearl, or I guess the updated uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, then you've read a book called The Sea's Legend. This book is the only real source of information about a Pokemon, well, uh, not just about any Pokemon, about a mythical Pokemon. A very special mythical Pokemon that was very infamous among people for being incredibly hard to get their hands on until, you know, the Pokemon company started releasing that Pokemon out to the public like mad. Of course, it took them a long time to do it, and it didn't happen until a mythical Pokemon giveaway that they were doing for a while that was like going... There's an alpha there. Huh. Anyways, there was a special, like, l mythical Pokemon giveaway that they were doing for a good while. And, uh... Can you, like... And I remember I partook in it specifically just so I could get my hands on said legendary, on said mythical Pokemon because it was one of the few Pokemon that I couldn't get a hold of without getting it hacked. This is a Pokemon that back in its heyday was incredibly hard to get a hold of. But now, of course, it's a lot easier to get a hold of because of how many times it's been released and how many special events and special giveaways the Pokemon Company has been putting it in. I think it's still rather infamous, but it's probably not, uh, definitely not as infamous as it used to be. This Pokemon that I speak of is known as the Prince. This Pokemon is known is is Manaphy? Man Manaphy, I believe is how you pronounce it. I'm so stupid. I'm I read the freaking poem myself. I mean, I, the random voice in the sky read that poem. Clearly, uh, um, <coughs> anyways, it's supposed to be like evening. I'm so dumb. Hold on. There we go. 
So, in the book, The Sea's Legend, it speaks of this person having a mantike, a weasel, and a quillfish with giant quills. That quillfish is actually an overquill, the Hisuian quillfish's evolution. The only, there are two ways you can get this. And as of right now in the game, if you haven't talked to uh, Mai yet, she has a way that you can get other uh, evolved Pokemon, but not still not super easily, but a lot easier than trying to evolve them yourself. And that, in specifically, uh, to you either get the Alpha Overquill that I have currently that you get from the main story by going to visit all the lake Pokemon, and you can get one that way. Or, you have to evolve Hisuian Quillfish, which you do by using the, moved, the move Barbed Barrage 20 times in the strong style. Yes, it has to be 20 times. Yes, it has to be in the strong style. You cannot use it just 20 times. You have to use it 20 times in the strong style. It has to be the strong style. If it is not... You're not gonna get it. Sorry. So that's that's how you get uh, Hisuian uh, Quillfish's evolution, a.k.a. Overquill. I don't think you need to have them in the exact order they're read in the book, which is Mantike, Weasel, and uh, Giant Quillfish. But just to be safe that I do, that you do need it that way, you need to do it that way. And also, you need to go through the gates... In the afternoon. You heard something that sounded like a cry and a boulder shifting in the distance. According to the book, The Sea's Legend, the prince met with the fated warrior, or whoever, in a place... Wait, is that it? Is that Seaside Hollow? No, that's not Seaside Hollow. Seaside Hollow is over here, right? Yeah, there it is. In the Seaside Hollow. Stop trying to hit me with, with bubbles. Ow. Now, of course, the real prize here... ...is the prince.
I ain't doing that. Retake. Two hours later. Oh, hey, it starts me back here. Wait. Uh oh. Do I have Fione registered? I guess I'll find out. I swore I caught two of them, so I might be okay. Report back to Professor Laventon to share what you've learned about Manfi, about Manaphy. Now, if you come here before you get the Seas Legend quest, or before, um, or if you, or before you have, or if you don't have any of the Pokemon, or if you come here, uh, when it's not at sunset or at the evening time, this is just what it'll be. Just a big, empty room, nothing in it. I was actually intending on showing this off at a different episode, but I ended up getting distracted by uh, space-time distortion spawning, so there's that. Ooh, while I'm out here, let's see. Uh, there is a Pokemon out here I need to do the catching of. It's not you. I need one of your children. You know what? That works. <laughs> I see you've caught our mysterious swimmer. So is Manaphy all along. It seems Manaphy here is a migratory Pokemon, drifting to and fro across the sea since long ago. At least, that's what it says in the Sea's Legend. I had a jolly hard time getting a hold of this tome, but it seems it was worth it all in the end. Three Comet Shards. Professor, you're too good to us. Alright, I don't want to rest. I want to double check to make sure... Well, at least I caught two out of the three. I didn't catch all three, but that, you know what? That's fine. At least I caught two of them. That's all that matters in the end. Bring me up. All right. I had two things I wanted to do in the beginning of, the, of this video, but I completely forgot about it, so I guess I'm saving it for the next time. So next time on Pokemon Legends Arceus, we go ahead and take care of two missions that I wanted to take care of, but I completely forgot about taking care of them in this episode, so we're going to take care of them later. I'll see you guys then, and uh, stay cool in your caves, and bye! <laughs>